Hello traders, welcome to the Forex Bot live trade examples. And in this video, we will try to find a trading opportunity for the euro versus the Canadian dollar currency pair. But before we get started, click that subscribe button and the notification bell to follow all our videos. We do lots of them every single week, market analysis, educational videos and live trade examples. And also, just so we know, all these trade setups that we are doing here are going to our premium signals telegram group and our members getting these signals live also this trade going to a live trade account so this is not just simple analysis and trade setup they're actually being traded live and if you want to join our premium telegram group you can find the link for it down in the description of this video let's get started with the euro canadian price action always starting with the daily time frame and always looking at moving averages specifically 50 simple and 50 exponential. I would like to start yet again with the support and resistance levels that we can spot here where price has been rejected the moving averages. You can see that the price action is pretty choppy. There is no clear direction although what we can spot is that there was this huge uptrend and the probability remains in favor of the uptrend continuation. Nonetheless we have a double top here produced so maybe if the uptrend will take place it might not be big one in in case of downtrend we might see also quite a substantial decline but let's analyze and see what happens on the moving averages i'm looking at these levels where price rejecting the moving averages so we have one right there we had a clean rejection right there you see i'm not using this lowest point because initial low was here clean rejection then price produced spike below and then failed to close below the spike and here is the same in regards to the resistance. What we have is rejection right there where the price rejected the moving average, then spiked higher and then failed to close above. We can also see a clean bounce of the moving average right there. So, and I think this is about it. From this picture, what we can say that this support, there is a massive support which has been broken you can see that there was this daily break and close so i'm removing this one because there was a breakout now we had this support which has cleanly been rejected after price produced this low so i'm gonna apply fips to this wave starting from this point to the upside so taking this low and the high now these fips maybe we can use them later but let's just stick to it Another point is right there that we had rejection. So this could be the resistance. And the most interesting is the recent price action where we had this rejection of the moving average, but then price went above and broke above this resistance and above both moving averages. So this implies that the, this resistance has been broken and there is a potential for this upside move. Now look at the FIPS that we have used. We have 61.8 FIPS and clearly there is a support located at this price area. It has been rejected three times now, which might suggest also that bulls are defending this support area. So now what we have is the probability in favor of the uptrend, but how far it can go. Let's have a look at the four hour time frame as well and see the very same scenario that I did apply in regards to the moving averages basically i'm looking for these clean rejections or a potential double spikes below some moving averages so right there we had this rejection of the moving averages so resistance and now we see there was a break above this resistance on four hour time frame let's move slightly back and see if we have any similar scenarios for example right there we didn't have a spike above but an and we didn't have a clean rejection and this is what i'm looking for some sort of clean rejection then spikes to, to the upside so we have it here let's see if there are more of them and we had the clean rejection here then we had the spike so these are the levels of interest and the interesting point that this support became the resistance and it got broken now what we have also is this rejection of the moving average right there at this spot 
there was no spike below that yet if we look at this rejection very clean one there was a spike below so this might suggest that the uptrend is about to start besides we had this huge spike and then price failed to close below both moving averages it seems like a good buying opportunity is being presented by the euro canadian dollar you can see these two red lines this is based on the moving averages as well and this could be our potential upside target but now let's put some Fibonacci retracement levels I'm gonna use this move to the downside let's see what we can have on the daily time frame I'm gonna use the entire move to the downside as well now I'm gonna use this corrective move to the upside also I'm gonna use this wave and probably also the entire move to the upside now it's a very messy as usual but I will clean it up I will just want to see where most of the fibs are located now what we see is the clean rejection of the 50% fibs but now we have a cluster of fibs providing the support at this area as well as you can see in regards to the upside I don't see any specific cluster of Fibonacci retracement levels so I will probably need to apply more of them and make it even more messy. What I'm going to do is to use this corrective move to the upside, this wave to the downside. You see we're getting more and more of these FIPS and right away I can spot a cluster of FIPS located at 56.64. Also we have these two resistance levels right there at 5640 area but based on FIPS we should be moving slightly higher this is very important resistance area and I want to apply also FIPS to this corrective move to the downside where we rejected another FIPS so let's do that so this is the corrective move and now we will see how it goes now look guys this is very very interesting now we have two FIPS exactly at the same level right there at 5646 and now I can clean the chart because I have what I have been looking for. This is the resistance area. We can see two red lines and here we have two FIBs. Then there is a cluster of FIBs as well. Maybe price will move towards this resistance. Maybe this one and maybe this one. So let's clean the chart and then continue. It's done. Now it seems nice and clean. And we have only one FIBs left, which is to the overall move to the downside where we have 23.6 FIBs has been broken to the upside now it becomes the support and the upside resistance or the upside target is located at 156.40 area because it corresponds to this resistance where the moving average has been rejected and we have two FIBs as you can see which is 50 and 161.8 so I will remove this resistance and we have these two FIBs clean now it's time to have a trade probably let's go to the one hour time frame now the current price seems to be quite good because it's pretty low in relation to what we had during this range trading so it's kind of at the bottom and if we put a trade setup long position at the current price we need to drag it towards the resistance and then we need to apply the stop loss the stop loss of course must be below this support area and I will drag it down in order to get a risk reward of two so this will protect us from any spikes that the price can produce below this support area and what we have is a potential 160 move to the upside versus the 79 pip of the risk and now let's place this trade on the MT4 platform on our live account with the stop loss and take profit so I open the order window need to adjust the lot now the stop loss is 54.05 take profit 56.43 so let's buy euro canadian dollar if we go to the forward time frame this is our trade setup and obviously we are protected from any spikes below but price might be in the worst case scenario of an uptrend test this support area but we also protected from that as well but all in all it seems like a good risk to reward opportunity considering this massive support now being formed and we still have high lows and higher highs pattern being produced because 
here was the new higher high and price still failed to break lower below this previously made low and of course this is an uptrend setup right so that's it i hope you enjoyed this trade setup we will get back to it once there is price action but for you it will be just a few seconds okay guys so few moments for you has passed but for us it passed eight days and 18 hours and as you can see uh, this trade setup was quite good it wasn't perfect because price did go against us slightly so there was small drawdown and there was some consolidation although after six days or so price started to move up sharply and this was worth the wait because we have managed to produce 157 pips profit on our mt4 account and as you can see price here is spiking above and perhaps there will be a reversal or a correction because this resistance is being rejected now if it's gonna get broken maybe the trend will continue even further but we don't care about that since we have got our profit with a risk of reward ratio of two as you can see right there and actually our risk was much lower if I just move the stop loss towards the low point, we had the risk reward of actual risk reward ratio of 387. So this was an awesome trade. And let me show you that on our MT4 where we opened this live trade. And this is how it looks on the MT4. We entered at this stage and then price went up wasn't very fast although it reached the target 150 pips has been produced with this trade so excellent thank you all for watching i do hope you enjoyed it if you want to see more videos with the trade examples just click the like and subscribe to our channel don't forget to turn on the notification to follow the next live trade example and till next time